Hello YouTube, this is um, an Adobe After Effects tutorial on how to make yourself fly. I'm basically going to show you how to make this effect. So as you can see, the camera is wiggling even though I had it on a tripod. Um, the character is blurry as he flies away. I'm going to show you how to do that and there's dust that like flies away as he flies so let's get started first import your video into the new composition button make sure it's on a tripod or else it won't work so basically just pretend to fly and you can come back to the camera i'm going to find the area like First, duplicate this layer three times by hitting Control-D twice. So now I'm going to name the top one, Fly, the middle one, Run, and the bottom one, BG, for background. First, find the area when um, there's no one in the background, it's just the background, and then right-click on the BG layer, go to Time, Freeze Frame. So now this is just an image. And now take the run layer and find the area when, like right after he jumps into the air. So right there. And then hit Alt and bracket. And then click on the fly layer and hit Alt begin bracket. So now um, you basically have this. It looks the same and find the area like right when the run layer disappears and then right click on the fly layer hit time freeze frame so now you can see you run you jump and you freeze there so n the fly layer is the layer that we're going to use to make the person go in the air so now just take the pen tool make sure that the fly layer is selected and cut out your person And you don't really need to be exact since um, like you can kind of rush through this part because um, you're only going to see this layer for a few, s like not even a few seconds, like less than a second. So it doesn't need to be perfect. Okay, so now that you've, you're over here, go to the area after the run layer disappears and then click on the fly layer, hit P for the position click on the stopwatch and then hit page down to go down a few frames and then drag yourself way up in the air so it looks like you're flying so now if we preview this it looks like this if you don't like that like if you think he's going up too fast or too slow Let's say you, um, your person looks like he's too fast. Then just take this keyframe on the right and drag it to the right so that it takes a slower time. But don't do it too long. And if you think he's going too slow, drag it closer to the first one. So once you're like done messing around with that, click on the fly layer and hit F4 if you can't see these four options and click on the column under the ball for the motion blur and then go up here right next like right next to the yellow n numbers and then click on the moving ball oh no yeah click on the moving ball up here next to the brain with lightning so now you can see now he's blurry when he flies in the air for the motion blur okay so once you're done with that, we can add the dust. So layer, new, solid. Make it the color of dust. Like, go to the orange area and just, like, find kind of, like, just, like, a good kind of, like, beige color. And now take the ellipse tool and then drag a giant oval and then drag another inside of the first oval so now it looks kind of like a donut 
and then change the second mask to subtract. So now it's like a circle, an uh oh. Next, click on the column under the 3D box. So now this the this layer is a 3D layer, and let's name it dirt, dust. You can name it what you want, but I'm gonna name it dust. So now, go up to the rotation tool and find the X axis and just drag it up so that it's like laying flat on the ground. And you can kind of like, just like put it on the ground and like put it somewhere where like it's in the middle of the actor. So click on the dust layer, hit M, no F, and then feather out both of the masks. So now it looks like dust. You can just like mess around with it until, okay, so I like that. Now click on the dust layer, hit M, uh, hit M, M twice, and then find the, um, you know, wait, okay, first find the area like right when he's about to fly, and then click on the fly light, and then click on the dust layer, and then hit Alt, begin bracket. So now the dust appears once, like, he flies away. And then go down a few frames, and hit Alt, end bracket. Then go to the beginning of the dust layer, and then take the mask expansion for both of the masks, and just bring it down for both of them. And then click on the stopwatch next to mask expansion, go down to the end of the layer, and then just like bring it up. So now we can preview this. You can also um, click on the layer and hit U for the keyframes. And if you want, you can like drag them closer to make it happen quicker. And if you like that effect, then you, I, I still need to drag them in because it looks like it's happening a little slow. Okay, so that's pretty good. So, okay, let me check. We did the, we did the dust, we did the blur. Now we need to add a wiggle to the camera. So, click on the dust layer, or click on the top, the layer that's on the top, hold shift, and then click on the, bo the layer that's on the bottom. So now you've highlighted all of them. Then hit P. So now you can um, hold Alt and then click on the position. Do that to all of the layers. And then you'll see like a bunch of text box co boxes come up. Type in wiggle apostrophe five comma 20 and apostrophe. And you've seen it, it added a little wiggle to it. Just do that to every layer. So my time's almost up. Cause I can only make this video 10 minutes since I'm not a partner on YouTube. So now this is just the effect. Oh, but you can see black around the screen. So go to composition, composition settings, and then lower the width and the height. So that problem is fixed. So my time is almost up. I really need to go now. I hope you enjoy this tutorial, and goodbye.